Hey guys, here we are back with another track guide for the latest time trial in Gran Turismo. Mm -hmm. We are at Daytona with the new modern Honda NSX road car. You guys know that I love road cars. This one is no exception. This thing is tricky to drive. It moves a lot under braking. Um, starts to slide very easily if you put too much yaw into the car whilst you brake. Uh, makes it quite a challenging lap. Uh, but I've really enjoyed the sort of half an hour I put into it tonight so far and uh, yeah I thought I'd share with you uh, my thoughts and my lap and hopefully get you guys gold 2 million credits it helps you if you enjoy it hit the like, hit the subscribe all the cheesy bullshit okay here comes the lap alright so we're coming in now to the start of the lap and it's actually quite a tricky braking zone because you, you do have to turn um, and it's around, there's the 100 uh, meters, I'm assuming, uh, marker board on the left there. But I kind of come off throttle and ease it in. And you can see I'm playing with the brakes, playing with the throttle, and watching the top ghost. And you've got a lot more time in there than you think. And you know, if you're going for a top time, you've got to be bang on. But if you're just going for gold, you can play around in that first corner and don't worry about it too much. Breaking point for the second one again, you've got a 100 meter marker, 100 meter marker board on the right there try and ease it in i tried coming out of this in uh third but i find it quicker in second and just try and control with your uh, throttle inputs uh, there's a tricky little left hander here which i tend to lift in it if i'm on a really good left because otherwise you end up going too wide and another tricky braking zone because you've got to keep this car as straight as possible so you'd like to be over to the left but you can't really get over there without making the car slide so keep things in a straight line as much as you can so, like I say, it's a bit of a tighter entry than you want, but late into it, the car will start to rotate in second. A short shift to third, I find that gives me a bit better traction coming out of there. And then an important little breaking point, and uh, it's important to get on the throttle early here because you've got a very long straight. So I'm kind of on the throttle, half throttle as we're sliding through, and pin it all the way up here. So now we've got this very long, uh, we're on the, the oval of the circuit now and we're approaching my favorite bit of this track and all you've got to do here keep it pinned keep it tight and minimal uh, steering input so you don't screw up any speed bring it out over here and we're going to hit the brakes just before this two me 200 meter board and we're going to give the car a little flick uh, during the braking zone just to get that rear end rotating so that we can clip this left apex and then playing with the throttle playing with the brakes arc those two those two apexes you've got to join them together and get on the throttle as early as you possibly can because you've got to carry the speed all the way around this next uh, part of the oval and all the way to the finish line I, I absolutely adore that little section it's easy to get it wrong if you're a little late on the brakes but if you get it right it is so satisfying uh, so yeah that is my lap uh, it's a 151.662 which at the time setting it was 379 but as you guys will know there is a long time left two weeks for us all to learn this track learn this car and improve but that, i think that should probably stay good enough for gold um hopefully it helps you guys out hopefully you get gold two million credits once again if you enjoyed the video if it helped you out if you learned something hit the like hit the subscribe even hit the share button uh, yeah, cheers for tuning in and good luck. See you in the next one.